This video I'm going to show you how to properly install an alarm and remote start system. Um, I've watched other people on YouTube uh, supposedly saying that they do it the right way, they show you the right way. It was appalling, it was ghastly, it, it was so nasty that I felt compelled to make my own video and show people how it's really done the right way. Um, so with that said, uh, this is going to be a four or maybe even possibly a five or six depending on how many times we're going to have to uh, break this, this video down into a complete from start to finish video. Um, it's going to show you from the beginning to the end how to do this job and do it right. I'm just going to use uh, right now it's caliber. This is an AL1630 EDP. It's an alarm remote start combo. I'm going to do a fully featured system with all the features, bells and whistles for a uh, 2011 Toyota Tundra. I'm also going to use this Fortin key override oil bypass to do the key immobilizer. So the first thing that we have to do, which is neglected from everybody's video that I've noticed, and it's by far the most important part of it, is the five P's. This proper preparation prevents poor performance. And I've seen these guys just basically take their alarm, all their wires, and just go, connect everything, and then this is what they're looking at. This is definitely not what you want to see. This is the opposite of what you want to see. So I'm going to take my time and show you folks how a professional does this job, and I hope it helps you people out to do your own cars properly the, the right way. So, first off, what you want to do is just get all your stuff together. The stuff you're going to need to do the job is some basic electrical tape. This is an insulation stripper, a pair of wire cutters, wire strippers, a hook tool or a cotter pin extractor, um, some wire ties, and a drill. We're going to use this drill. We're going to make a lot of use of that drill today. So, with that said, here we go. And they're off. Okay, so I'm going to take your alarm, take all your harnesses that you're going to need to use for the job. Get them all laid out. Get them all into the system. This guy here, my shock sensor harness. I'm not a fan of electrical tape. I can't stand it. Um, it's nasty. Uh, it looks fine once you put it into the car the first time, but fast forward a couple years down the road and you come back and you actually want to add something or fix something, you have a big pile of ooey gooey nasty tape. I can't stand it. The right way to do wiring is this. Take your drill, pull whatever harness you got to do, like these four here, spin those wires. And you notice that when I did it, I didn't use the plug because if I spin the drill and it gets too tight, pop, 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 these are all going to pop out. You don't want to do that. Bad for your wires. So now that is nice. That's pretty to see. And if this thing ever gets rubbed up against something, it's probably just not going to shake. It's going to rub off nice and smooth. It's going to stay clean. And if you ever had to splice into here to add another sensor, it's easy enough. You could just, whoop, just back those wires out put your diodes in, add a sensor, whatever the case is. It, that's the right way to do things. Not to make that nasty mess. So that's one down. On here I got two ports for a shock sensor or an optional sensor, so plug that guy right in there. And as you go, try to you know work systematically and work, you know, logically. So first thing you sensor, take it, plug it in. Don't wire it up and just say, hey, where's the, you seen that shock sensor, Billy? No, it's right here. That's where that is. I know that I'm going to be using this system in, a, in a, a Toyota, so I went ahead and I printed out a cheat sheet. We give these to all customers um, while they're on our website. Basically, it tells you, so if you're, do, if you're doing an alarm and you're going to prep it up, you need to know how to prep it, what for. Just like if you're going to prepare a meal, you need to know what ingredients you need to do to, to cook that meal. So, I know my car has two ignitions, I know it has an accessory, I know it has a negative door trigger, I know it has positive lights, so I'm going to wire the system accordingly. I have pre-thought and planning into my system before I go ahead and start my job. So, this here is my primary ignition harness, which is going to use to start that car for remote start. A good practice is to take some electrical tape and wrap it around those fuses just like that. 
because if those things ever do touch any kind of metal, I don't want to touch the tape. I don't want to touch the the fuses. Short it out, and you'll have a problem down the road. That's something you could do with that. This is my wire for my parking lights. This one here supplies power to the parking lights, so those are already done. My two powers, they go into the same place. So I'm going to twist those two together. And when I hold it, again, I hold it before the fuse, not after, because you don't want to twist and put pressure on here. It's nice and tight. That's done. These here are my two ignitions, ignition one and ignition two. My truck's going to need both. Together. This is my starter and my accessory output. Twist it together. Done. So, so far we're looking pretty good. So with that side done, now I'm going to move on to this harness. This is a kind of newer alarm. I kind of forgot which wire is a which, so I'm just going to real quick. Guide. And I suggest you do the same thing, you know. So just look at look at that harness, look at the schematic, and go through them one by one. Door trigger, green. That's the negative. We need tack, violet, white. We need violet, positive door trigger. Don't need. Cut it. Next one. Violet. Don't need that. Okay. We got red, white, trunk release. We don't need. Pickups don't have trunks. Starter ants, right? Actually, this is what? Green. Violet, relay, calm out, but we need that. Orange. We need that. That's the starter kill, white, black, flesh and white output, negative, we're using positive, cut it, get rid of that, brown, my eyes ain't so good anymore, brown, red break input we need, black, white, natural, need safety input, we need that, black should be ground, we need that of course, White, red, white input. Put that gray. Put trigger. We're not doing. We got brown, black. Horn relay input. Blue, black, the opposite output we need. That's that. Okay, so we're good. Whatever wires we don't need. Just remove them from the harness. Now, <coughs> you got to do these powers. Door trigger, 